Hey what's going on guys, Tertiwerty here, and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for Forge 1.16.4 for Minecraft. In this tutorial I am going to be covering advanced items. So these will basically be items that can do special things such as right clicking it will summon lightning for example. So it, advanced items are actually pretty simple in terms of actually making an advanced item the logic you do is obviously uh, all down to how or what you want your item to do so I'm just going to be doing something pretty simple with my advanced item I know that sounds uh, a, bit, a bit contradictory uh, but it it will make sense so First things first, we obviously need to go ahead and register a new item. So I'm just going to come into my item in it and create a new public static final registry object. And this would normally be an item. However, as you can see with our block item here, we are telling it that it's a block item so we're going to be doing a similar thing since we're going to be having a new class for this item so I'm going to instead of putting in item I'm going to put in special item you can still put in item if you wish of course but I'm going to keep it as a special item and I'm just going to name the field the same thing so special underscore item and that is equal to items register special item and this will be a supplier of a new special item and this just takes in the item dot properties like normal so I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste this one there we go and obviously we need to go ahead and create this class so I'm going to be creating that in common uh, forward slash items so that will be a new class and this will be special item and I'm just going to go straight back to item minute and import it and now I can close item minute so this class is going to extend item and obviously it's very important that you import the correct item so that's just net.minecraft.item.item .item. and obviously we need to add the normal constructor so now we have uh, what I would class as an advanced item and that's not probably the proper terminology for it but the reason I call it an advanced item is because it's an item with its own class so we can now access a lot of special methods and advanced methods so I'm going to just be covering uh, one or two in this video but if you press control space you'll see there are loads of different methods that you can utilize so I'm just going to be using one or two obviously if I covered all of them that would that would be a few videos so the ones I'm going to be covering and the ones I think are the most important is add information um, also if we just put in on you'll see there's all these different on blah 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 methods these are all very useful so there's um, when you drop the item on drop by player uh, when it's created um, when you start breaking a block with the item when you destroy a block with the item if you're wearing the item so on armor tick um, while the entity item so the item that's on the ground is updating when you're swinging with the item um, when a horse is wearing the item when you right click the item uh, when you use the item so that's when you uh, right click it on a block uh, when you finish using the item, when you first use the item, when you left 
click an entity so when you hit an entity with the item uh, when you stop using all these different methods that there are now the other one I'm going to be using is on item right click so these are the two methods that I'm just going to be uh, going through so they're both very simple so add information is basically for adding tooltips to your item or uh, what some people like to call lore so it's extremely simple really all we can just do is tooltip dot add since tooltip is just a list and this will be a new and then some instance of a high text component so uh, if we just open the implementation of iText component you can see there's a few different uh, text components you can use now I'm going to be using uh, translation text component but if you don't want it to be translatable uh, so if it's just a number for example you can just use like str string text component but with a translation text component uh, what we put in here so if I do a new translation text component this will actually be translatable so it, it just takes in a string and this is the string that we want to translate so what I'm going to do I'm going to just put something quite simple really so what you generally do with these or at least what I do I don't know if this is exactly what you're meant to do it doesn't really matter I just do tooltip dot special item dot and then whatever the sort of name for the tooltip will be so say I want this to be tooltip of just um, test tooltip Now, obviously, with just this alone, that's just going to show up in the game as tooltip.specialitem.testTooltip, which isn't very interesting. Um, oh, and you can also add another one, I would just like to mention. So, uh, you can just go ahead and add a string text component as well, for example. So, string text component and then test for example so that will be two different lines uh, you can also color it if you use the different color codes so uh, let me see if I can find them so if we use for example this so U00A7E that is a uh, color code um, so that should be a list of color codes in the description actually I can open one right now just an example of some color codes here here you go so these are the vanilla uh, sort of color codes that you can use so this is pretty handy really so there's I'm actually going to do something a little bit special here instead of this string text component. So you can use if input mappings dot is key down, and this just takes in a long. So that is the uh, Minecraft window handle, and to get that you can just use Minecraft dot get instance dot get main window dot get handle and then it is the key that we want to check in so glfw dot glfw glfw underscore key underscore left shift so what you can basically do is if the player is holding left shift then we can show a tooltip basically now there's one thing I would just like to mention this is a client only method and um, we normally for client only stuff since we know for a fact that this is client only 
we add this only in dist.client annotation and this will just strip this piece of code from uh, the server so it will actually only exist on the client um, so that's just a thing we generally do so all this is doing is it's a vanilla minecraft method um, that checks if the key is down and the key we are inputting is left shift so if left shift is down we can just do tooltip dot add a new I'll just use the string text component for this and I'm actually going to copy in a little string here and that is the string I'm going to copy in so that just has a few uh, color formattings in there so if I go back onto this site or this this image that I have I suppose we are using U007A7E so that is yellow right and then we revert to just grey here is that right yeah that's right and then that shows up in the tooltip uh, just like that wait no that's the wrong way around isn't it yeah that's the wrong way around so this would actually want to be what you translate right so what you can actually do instead of test tooltip you can just call this hold shift and we can translate that instead and if shift is down then we can do tooltip dot add a new string text component advanced tooltip we can call this so what it will say what, what we want it to say is that um, it will say hold shift for more information right here um, this should probably be in an else actually I'm just gonna comment that out so I can keep it there just like that so if the key is down it says advanced tooltip if it's not down it will say hold shift uh, for more information so what we do to actually translate this here if we go into our lang file We can just say something like, um, what, what do we call the tooltip? Let's have a look. Tooltip.specialitem.holdshift. So if we put in tooltip.special underscore item dot hold underscore shift. And you should actually probably have your mod ID in here as well. Um, and in there we just basically can put this right here. However, you'll see that there are strings shuffled in here, so we have to actually remove the strings and the pluses um, and all of that. It shouldn't be too bad. Hold shift for more information. And that should, theoretically at least, work. It should color it all correctly. So yeah, that is the uh, add information method. And the other one I just wanted to do was on item right click. This one is very simple, really. So we just do anything when you right click the item. So um, for example, player in dot add potion effect. And we could add a new effect instance. So the effect could be effects dot, uh, I don't know, glowing. Um, and then it is the duration. So this is in ticks. Um, I can just say 200, so 10 seconds. And then it is the amplifier. So how strong it is. Uh, I could just say five. So you get glowing five for 10 seconds. and 
we could also do something like world in dot add entity a new what entity do we want to add a new zombie entity world in oh actually we can't do that we just need to make a field for the zombie entity and then you can just set the position of the of the entity so player in dot get x or get pos x I mean then player in dot get pos y obviously I'm just making this up as I'm going along um, I'm sure you will actually have a proper use for this rather than me just making it up as I'm going along and then obviously you want to return an action result so you can either return the super super dot on item right click or what is actually advised to do is to do action result dot and then you can choose which result you want so I'm gonna do result success and that will just take in the type so that will be player in dot get held item main hand or I suppose uh, you can use I think get held item hand in yeah so that will give us this item snack which as you can see it's looking for there <laughs> oh so yeah that's pretty much it for advanced items obviously you can do any other of those hundreds of methods I was showing you all these different ones you can look through them they're pretty much all self-explanatory but obviously if you do have any issues with any of them um, you can always ask in my discord server which is linked in the description and um, I'm sure lots of people will be able to help out with that issue so that's pretty much it for advanced items um, if I just add this to the lang so item dot tutorial dot special underscore item and we'll just add this really quickly I'm not going to do a texture or anything I'm just gonna have it uh, with a missing texture because that's fine so if I now run the game we can go ahead and test this out okay so guys as you can see I am now in the game and if we go into the uh, miscellaneous we have our special item here and if we do hold shift obviously it shows the advanced tooltip so if we now grab this icon this item and we right click we see it summons a zombie and it adds glowing uh, six for um, 10 seconds so obviously you can spam that probably not recommended but you can um, also that's really loud um, but I mean that's pretty much it obviously you can actually add a cooldown to this and I will just show you that really quickly it's, it's very simple so um, you can just do um, I think player in dot get cooldown cooldown tracker dot uh, set cooldown and then you set it to the item so player it uh, actually it's, it's just an item so you can use this and the ticks is just how long you set it for so 100 uh, or maybe 1000 even and you can literally just do if not player in dot get cooldown tracker dot has cooldown this 
just put that inside of the inside of there you can just then go ahead and return that there and return for example fail there and if we try that I don't know if I'm on debug mode or not yes I am on debug mode so as you can see now in the hotbar we have this and if I try right clicking again obviously nothing is happening so we have to wait for that cooldown to go back down as you can see that cooldown is now gone so if I right click again we can spawn another zombie and uh, it will go back to its cooldown again so yeah obviously you can do whatever you want um, with your item um, this is just what I am going to do um, I will just just really quickly before I end this just cover some small little properties that you can do for the item so um, right here after dot group you can um, set it to be a tool type so, for example, you can set a tool type with a level of 5, so that means it's one of your right, so that means it's a combo, for example. You can, for example, set the damage, so you can set max damage right here, and you can set the damage, so you can set max damage right here, and you can set the damage right here, and you can set the damage right here, and you can set the max damage right here, and you can set the 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 damage right here, if you did, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe as well. I mean, it's free. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I went to the grocery store and only bought myself because I know that I'm a snack.